Hello there everybody and welcome back to another pro demo review and today we're going to be dissecting a particular clutch, taking away some key moments and some key ideas that you can incorporate into your own gameplay. Often when people talk about clutches in Rainbow Six, particularly in competitive play, it sometimes boils down to uh, the team that lost through it and the player that won it is just simply cracked. It's not always quite that simple and I'm really hoping that this clutch here will demonstrate it so look without further ado let's jump in Alrighty then here we are inside of the demo it is phase clan taking on team liquid play day nine of br6 stage two phase on the defense team liquid on the attack and for this particular video we're going to be focusing in on the pov of souls and i'll just let the clip run here with a minute to go in the round and then we'll go through it a second time and perhaps just break it down a little bit further so let's resume the vod here uh, Team Liquid taking control of maintenance. They're going to open up that wall, try and go for a plant at the back of Throne. Souls repositions into this particular peak. Actually gets really aggressive here alongside Astro to help with the double peak. Manages to get a kill off the back of that. Trade's not overly favorable though across the map. Leaves it in a two versus four. So Souls and Cameraman have a lot of work to do. A phase still in. Pretty capable hands. This site's still very tricky to push through two choke points. You have the doorway and dragon maintenance as well. The breach. No one seems to be going for a back push. Soul's relatively confident that that is the case. So now he repositions inside of split. Again, strong position to be in. Palu down, so that makes things a bit more interesting. Hits a nice shot there. Onto PSK, but he's left now in effectively a 1v3 post. Palu can still post up for information, even if he doesn't get revived. Now, the thing you can't see in the VOD is there's actually a red ping here, so Souls knows the plant's going down, so he elects to peek over towards Dragon and gets the kill. Then the re-aggression gets uh, punished there as well. Souls wins the round really clean on the clutch there and really, really well played. So we'll, we'll put it back now, a minute to go in the round. So at the moment, Souls' attention over towards that maintenance breach makes sense because that's probably going to be where they go for the next uh, point of entry. Seems like we've lost audio, but it doesn't really matter too much for what we're trying to show you here. This is where, again, Astro goes in for a pick. That would be ill-advised if he does it by himself, but Souls is here to back him up. And at a man disadvantage, I think at this phase of the round, phase feel the need to probably make a play, and that's what they do. I don't think there's anything too bad with that. It's a clean shot in response, so well played. Unfortunately, though, again, Two versus four, so he's not in a good spot. He continues to look for a play, but then he gets droned. So they know he's in this position. He'll be flushed out pretty quickly, especially if Palu still had U2 remaining. If uh, Reset's had a nade or two, it could make things really tricky. So he decides to just fall back. And that's well played. This half four position behind Throne really strong. You also have the Gemini as well to offer just a little bit of assistance as well if needed. So just check split for a moment. Make sure that's clear. Then uses this angle behind the chassis facing into Dragon. So just... Sort of extending this cover artificially behind half four. May have spotted the shoulder of the player there at Dragon, but elects not to re-peak. Now it gets flamed out. So Palu actually did have Util. Repositions once more over towards split. So at the moment, he's electing to play the safest position he possibly can. He doesn't try and re-aggress through to maintenance again or continue to hold that half four position because that would not be the most calculated play. Palu gets downed. So that helps out quite a bit. Then Souls is switched on, gets the first pick here, that's a really sharp kill onto PSK, but there's information being fed, you can't see it in the demo, but there were red pings during this particular play, so you can see um, Cyber is on a camera here, so there's clearly a, a black eye inside of sight that's feeding information here to Souls, and you can see just how reactive he, he's being to this information, playing it really well. Now he thinks about a player maybe trying to swing upon that straight away. But um, the plant is going down, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Now, all his focus is really on resets here. Finkera, going to be so, so dangerous. You need to swing her first, get that contact initially. Otherwise, the LMG will tear you down. And he knows that. Five seconds left. And that's what he's thinking about when he gets up to this doorway. Plant's still going down. He doesn't have to worry about that angle to the right. And his instinct telling him there's going to be a player at Dragon Door. Perhaps there's also a little bit more information or sound cue off the... The Valkyrie, a little bit hard to tell, but watch what he does here. Straight away, peaks it, hits the shot. Obviously, mechanically, very, very well played. But the instinct there, the, the game sense to have swung that, that doorway, that angle, with the finger trying to open up the, the site as wide as they possibly can, 
Really well done. Read it, read it perfectly. Planter forced to stick. He knows that. Would have heard the sound cue. Again, he's still getting calls off this camera at this point. I, I believe he's still getting calls. Straight away, gun up. Knows that the Thermite's going to try and swing and find the trade. Hits the shot. Quad kill. Clutch. Really well played. And overall, not too much default souls on there in that round. So I hope you all enjoyed that quick little breakdown. Again, not an overly lengthy video. I don't think there's too much to dive into, but... Watching Clutch and breaking it down is always super intriguing. Of course, a lot of what we've seen here might be quite specific to like a, th a throne plant, for example, um, and making sure you're covering off maintenance and the dragon door if you want to re-aggress from that split position. And of course, this is all assuming you're not getting pushed behind from split, which probably should have been the case anyway. But more generally, it was a good example of one, playing into the information you have and listening to your team properly. And also secondly, doing the fundamental thing of clearing angles properly, trying to clear as much of the side as you possibly can before going for a dangerous cross. That's what he did exactly onto the Finca, for instance, and that forced uh, the planter to go for the trade. And again, he was able to show initiation and get that pick. So yeah, that will conclude the video. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, I would appreciate it. And as always, comment if you want to see a particular play reviewed, and I'll do my best to get to it. But until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you then.